So I usually find when I've uh, when I've got something on my mind, it either comes to me when one I'm in the shower, or two when I don't have my camera on me. Uh, good news today, I've got my camera on me. So just wanted to quickly touch on 10-year terms. You may have seen this in the news recently, but uh, a lot of people, a lot of clients are asking, Dan, what's going on with 10-year terms? Should we uh, should we lock it in? They seem pretty competitive. Uh, my suggestion is you might want to reconsider. Um, majority of Canadians are actually breaking their mortgage within 36 months, so three years in. Typically, Canadians are getting a five-year term. What does this mean? Well, if you break it within the first five years, so say three years in, you're triggering what's called an interest rate differential penalty. That penalty, and this is for fixed mortgages, that penalty uh, can be substantially more if we're talking about 10-year terms. So uh, you might want to consider that as well. Life, right? Life changes. You might not be in the same spot uh, in 10 years. So again, you want to take that into consideration and all the options that are available on the longer mortgages. Uh, anyway, that's it guys. Whoa, and I am actually on time with this one today. So hope you're having a great day and we'll talk to you soon. Mm -hmm.